the root system. Roots of the plants lie inside the soil. There are two types of root systems. Tap root system, fibrous root system. Observe the roots of brinjal plant. There is a main root that bears branches on its sides. This main root is called the primary root. Its branches on the sides are called secondary roots and tertiary roots. This type of root system is known as tap root system. Now observe the roots of an onion plant or a grass plant. All the roots arise from one place like a bunch and they are more or less similar in form and size. This type of root system is known as fibrous root system. Let us find about the various functions of the roots. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Under a magnifying glass, you will find that the roots have numerous hair-like structures. These are called root hairs. Root hairs absorb water and minerals from the soil. Let us perform an activity. Take two pots. Label them as A and B. Fill them with garden soil. Now, take two small plants of same form and size. Cut off the roots of one plant only. Fix both these plants into the pots. Water both plants daily. Observe after two days. The rooted plant in pot A is normal, while the plant in pot B, which is without roots, dries up. This shows that roots are essential for the absorption of water and minerals from the soil. The water and mineral salts absorbed by the roots are also transported upwards to various parts of the plant body. This is called conduction. Let us perform one more activity. Take a small plant of Gulmehindi. This plant has soft and thin stem. Be careful that its roots do not get damaged. Remove the soil from the roots by washing them with water. Take a wide-mouthed bottle and fill it with colored water. Fix the plant into the bottle so that only the roots remain inside the colored water. Observe the plant after two hours. What do you see? Look at the roots, stem, leaves and flowers. All of them are colored. How? The colored water is absorbed by the roots and is conducted up to the stem, leaves and flowers. Now cut the roots of the colored plant with a sharp blade. Look into the cross section of the root with a magnifying glass. You will find that only a little portion is colored. This is the portion through which the colored water has moved up. This colored portion is known as xylem. Xylem in the root or stem is responsible for the conduction of water and minerals in a plant. Roots of a plant also help it to fix in the soil. Roots of some plants also store food. Roots of radish, carrot, sweet potato and turnip store food in them. We eat the roots of these plants.